Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday Tips with Kimberbell. I'm Kim and I decided it would be fun to bring a special guest mm. with me today and he is he could not be more excited. I'm so excited. No, this will be fun. <laughs> this, this will, will be, be great. If you don't know Ryan, let me introduce him. He is my husband. We are uh, partners in business and life and you name it. Uh, we're with each other all the time. Like literally all the all time. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> I like to call him the original Kimber fella, and uh, he is really uh, has made what our company is today in so many ways. And so, anyhow, I just thought it would be fun to have you on. Oh yeah, I'm super excited. This will be this will be great. I've been watching Tuesday Tips forever. Now I get to be on it. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Should we talk about the beard? Yeah. His beard. Because it's awesome, <laughs> right? Because it's awesome. I have to say, when he's like. Every November comes around and he grows it out because of... It's No Shave November, no which shave is November. It's a good cause it's to, for cancer awareness, particularly for men. Yeah. I mean, I love the cause. There's no doubt about it. But she just says little, not love the beard. It's a little scruffy. Yeah. So I like to say No Shave November is like No Kiss November. Too much scruff. But I yeah. don't know. Maybe, maybe okay. you're one that likes it. Uh, you know, it yeah. looks good on you. Thank I you. I promise. Thank it you. looks good on you. Let's get to the project. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to give you a bad time about it, right? It's no, okay. No. Okay. So we are actually here not to talk about No Shave November, but to give you some fun ideas on how to decorate your home for the holidays. Uh, just really simple, simple ideas. And in particular, we're going to actually use our Kimber Bell um, brand new wool felt balls. Yep. So take a look here. We've got the red and white set. And we've got a gray and cream set, and then we've got like a multicolored yeah, set. Yeah, what would you call that? Well, this comes from our Reds sugar and plum. Oranges. <laughs> okay, we have to we have to say something here. There is what? no. No, we don't have to okay. say anything. There is no orange in this one. I promise you. That's orange right you. there. Okay, so you you just gave away something that um, you know not everyone knows. That is that he's colorblind. A little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, we have to make sure that when you get dressed in the morning, you're wearing the right colors together. You know. Yeah. But there is no orange in this one. I promise. There is green and blue and pinks and reds. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was thinking. Yeah, of course, right? And so that it comes from the Sugar Plum Jubilee event. Uh, but even if you're not part of the Sugar Plum Jubilee event at a Certified Shop, you can actually still get these wool felt balls because they mm. are so cute for with, Christmas. With zero orange with, felt balls with in them. no orange in no. there. Okay, so um, I want to show you how I decorate between holidays. You know, we get a lot of holidays squished together here in the fall yeah. slash winter. And I'm not a huge decorator, wouldn't you say? Not really. I yeah. mean, I love to decorate for the <clears throat> holidays, yep. but minimal time, right? And all of the things that we usually decorate with are probably sent out to quilt shops, yeah. right? Yeah. So Pretty there much. are a few key areas in our home that I decorate. Where there are. There. Okay, so we've got the mantle. Yep. There's always something there. And then yep. next to that, we've, there's a little side table. And uh, with, you usually have a quilt up above that. Yeah, usually one of the like 40 by 40 quilts is yep. what we like to put there. Okay. For sure. Uh, the entryway, there's a, a bench that's of typically got a bench course. pillow. Yeah, it's mandatory. There's a bench, Gotta right? have the bench pillow. Yeah. And, and, uh, and then there's this thing. Well, it's this is my new favorite thing. So let me show you. This is a, a popular thing on Pinterest right now is to take these tiered trays and decorate them for the holidays. And I love this because it is so easy and simple to throw things together that yeah. really you already have in your home and put it on this tiered tray. So for example, you're gonna notice some Kimberbell product in there as well, but I really didn't go out and buy anything except for some actual real pumpkins, mm -hmm. right? So- That's what um, you told me anyway. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's what he knows, right? So I love it. What's cool though is that I could take things I already have, and for Halloween, this was decorated for Halloween, mm -hmm. and I used our wool felt balls that you see here in the gray and cream for Halloween. 
But then when Halloween was over, it was really simple to keep the, a couple of the pumpkins. I have some white ones down here. Okay, and I have an orange one here. I kept the cream balls there, but then I added in a few other elements, yep. um, making it real easy. My favorite, of course, is this one. Let's take a look at that. It's the Give Thanks Pillow. You see that? Oh, over here. Let's put it over under this camera. There we go. The Give Thanks Pillow, that is one of our uh, mini bench buddy pillows. This is for November. And so as you can see, the size works perfectly in this little uh, tr tiered tray. So anyway, that is one way I did it. So from October to November mm -hmm. to now December, just we can going. just keep going, but yep. keeping the same gray and cream. So I want to show you how easy this is to make, and I'm going to teach you how to do it. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm going to teach Ryan how to do it because guess what we're doing over Thanksgiving besides um, watching football? Eating turkey, <laughs> right? Eating turkey, playing games, watching football, yeah. and... I I, apparently we're doing something with, with wool felt balls. We're stringing some uh, some wool balls. Okay, because great, awesome. What I want to do, this is the plan, right? Okay. Is that you can watch TV, you can watch your football. Okay. But good. I need you stringing at the same time. Is that a deal? Um, maybe. Yeah. Okay. I can, kind of like a do one thing at a time kind of guy. <laughs> well, full focus. Well, yeah. this time you can't. You got to do it because oh. I want mm. to coordinate our our decorations. By stringing these across our mantle. Okay. Stringing them across our tree. Okay. And across the tiered, uh, the the tiered platter here. All okay? right. Yeah, sounds great. So we need a lot of these. So okay. I'm going to show you how to do it. So you put me to work. I'm going to put you. I'm going to put you to work. Okay. Okay. So we're going to use the red and white actually. Oh, okay. Not the orange. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm going to place these down here. Okay. These are. Um, tubes that you can buy at your favorite quilt shop. So we've got the red and white. Now, if we wanted to have a pattern, we could go, okay, red, white, red, white. Right, right? okay. I'm you with could do you. two reds and a white. It really doesn't matter, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So then I took our twine, and I'm going to give you a needle. I've already threaded it on there. Okay. And I tied a knot in the end. Okay. okay. There is a method to this madness. So let's go over here. In fact, I'm going to switch you sides. Okay, good deal. So you can see this a little more uh, clearly here on the camera. But um, what I did, I used our Kimberbell twine. I used the red and white striped twine. Okay. And threaded the needle, and I'm just going to start with uh, red, for example, okay? Simple, simple, simple. Now, you might think at first, oh, she's just going to string one after the other. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. We're go I'm going to show you how you can string this, and then it's not going to shift after you do it, okay? So the first thing is that, yes, yeah, I want you to do it at the same time. Okay. So the first thing I want you to do is just simply... Place your needle through there. Straight through the middle. Right through the middle and string it all the way down to the end where you have your knot. <laughs> what if the needle doesn't go all the way through? Okay, <laughs> I got it. Okay, we're good. Okay, okay. We're good. Whew. Now, I, on this very first one, okay, mm -hmm. very first one, I want you to go back through close to the same hole. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay. Just a little bit next to it. Right. And string it back through the other side. Okay, this is just on your first uh, ball. You got it. Uh, okay. Now, if you have a problem, here we go. If you have a problem getting your needle through, um, my suggestion would be to take like a um, to take like a balloon or a piece of tape and then like have something to grab onto. <laughs> just and just like pop the balloon. Just, boom! <laughs> no, 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 no. Shock yourself into doing it right. <laughs> No, you don't pop okay. the balloon. Oh. You just take a balloon and grab your needle. So oh, because you it, it gives you grip. It gives you grip. It gives you grip. Okay, okay. okay, there we go. Yep. Okay, now that we've done that, I can cut this off. I don't have scissors right now, but I've cut off that little tail. Okay? I don't want Now to I'm ready. Oh, good. See, yeah. look at you. I'm, I'm so an good. expert. Okay, so now I'm ready to, to put on my next uh, ball. Now, 
Um, to spread them out like I did in the example, I'm going to do it two finger widths apart. Okay, not that that matters right now. See? Okay. Yep. But just know that when I put them on my string, it's going to be about two finger widths apart. If you want it okay. further, you could do four finger widths apart. Okay. We, my dear husband, just gonna, are just going to make... do it two finger widths apart. But okay. two of yours are not the same as two of mine. Does that matter? <laughs> well, that's true. That's okay. true. We'll see. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to take the white one. Got it. And I'm going to put it through the center. I need a pair of pliers to grab this needle with. Well, that's... I'm not going to use a balloon. It's ridiculous. <laughs> use a pair of pliers like a real man. I need... <laughs> a man with a beard. I need a longer needle. <laughs> I have Come no, on. I have Get no that grip. To me. Okay, Here. you try it. All right. God, you got a balloon handy? <laughs> or a piece of tape? <laughs> or a pair of needle nose pliers? Or push it. <laughs> this is. Re I shouldn't use my teeth, right? No. Okay. That'd no, be don't bad. don't use the teeth. Oh my goodness! I think. Okay. I'm well, so nervous that my hands are sweating and it's just psh, going you know, through. Yeah, let me push it this way. Okay. Did you get it? Wiggle it around. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Come on, Okay, man. let me do yours then. Okay, because mine okay. is... Because yours is through. I'm killing it. And you have <laughs> you have a longer needle. Okay. Okay. So, here we go. I'm going to... Remember our two finger widths apart? Yep. Okay. So, I'm just going to put two fingers right there. Actually, it was Chris that taught me how to do this. Isn't that See, cool? See, I already did that one two finger widths uh, apart. Well, yeah. Our finger widths are different. You're right. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So there's two finger widths. Okay. And then wh what I'm going to do, this is the, the trick to, to being very successful at this. Okay. Okay. Is I'm going to just take a little scoop of this right next to it. You see how that I did that? Yeah. Just yeah. Show, show it to the camera. To, I'm just going to, let's see. Can you see that? There oh, we go. Kind of, yeah. Okay. I'm going to take a little scoop. Now, why are you doing that? You'll see. Oh, you'll okay. See. Okay, I'm going to leave the needle there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take my loose thread here, my loose twine, and wrap it around the needle. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to pull so that I get a knot there. Okay. With that knot being there, I'm not going to be able to move it forward or even backward. They mm. are staying in it's, place. It is stuck. Can you see why that would be helpful? Yeah. Why? So that it <laughs> <laughs> What? Because no. it's like, no, that's good. It's like keeps it in place. It keeps it in place. It's already that, that uniform two fingers. That's right. That's right. Which is, you know. You have cats, you have kids, you have. I got it. You know, whoever. Oh, you got it. I got oh. one through. Okay, yep. cool. All right. I'm going to keep your needle because it's longer and I like it. Okay. Better. Okay. So now I'm going to take a red one. Let's do that again. Okay. I'm going to. So I'm going to take a little tiny piece. Oh. And, okay, and it I'm comes all the way through. through. Or do I have to no, wrap no, no, it around no. first? No, 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 no. Did you already go? I got, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now wrap it around. Just like once? Yeah, here. This is kind of like a fishing here, put knot. It, put it under the camera here so okay. everyone can see that you are doing this. Okay, so I've gone through this a little bit uh -huh. and then just wrap around like that? No, 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 no. Okay, oops. Okay, just once. Okay, just once around. Yeah. And then I pull it through. And then you pull it there. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. Yes. Okay. Now, now look, you can't move it forward or backward, can you? That no. is locked in place. That is locked in place. Okay, mm -hmm. so now... Excellent, thank you. Can you see that? We've got some pliers. Okay. okay, now I'm going to go through again. All the way through. I guarantee you there are some people watching this right now who are uh -huh. freaking out at the yeah. idea that our finger widths are different. <laughs> <laughs> and and that would bug you, them to no end I because it's, it's not. Okay. This, no, well, it's okay with me, but I know there's some people who that okay. they're not going to be okay with that. <laughs> okay, my two finger widths right there, right between the balls. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to take just a little, okay, little pinch of this. Oh my goodness! Hold I'm on. doing it. Hold on. You're oh, doing it. Well, kind of. Kind of. Shoot. Then I'm no, gonna, I got it. Okay. Then I'm going to wrap. Wrap it around. Whoops, around it, one oh, time. I totally did it. <laughs> Oops. All right. And I got the knot. knot. See? It's not going anywhere. Nope. Right? Yep. Isn't that cool? It's awesome. Do you think you could do this while watching football? Because we Well, we're already into like the second quarter by now. Okay. <laughs> but I don't know how much we're going to get done by the end of the game. Okay. I'm by halftime, maybe. I'm going to come back over here. 
Yeah, we'll see how many he gets done. So, you, you've got a task this Thanksgiving. We've got to get some more of these from our mm. favorite quilt shop, right? Mm. <laughs> Not like we have any of them at our... Here we go. Come over here. Okay. In our warehouse. There we go. Two finger widths. You got it. I'm, I'm getting it down. You know, the, the tricky part is this, is this thread wrapping deal. So, before you actually get the needle all the way through, go around once. One time. Just like that. Hold it in place. Yep. And pull. And then, and then it comes right And then you've through. got your knot. So simple. Yeah. So simple, right? Oh, I love it. Okay. So now let's talk about decorating with this. Okay. Because right now I'm thinking, all right, I am done. Let's go ahead and get a close up shot. I am taking down all the Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm going to keep my cream and gray. This is a whole Saturday for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay we're moving this up uh, off and now I'm thinking okay well this is a candle and gray works for that so this is a cream ball so I might leave that up but here what if I added in a little tree I like that there and oh here we go I've got a whole grouping I've got my little bottle brush trees in here What's I that? actually little bottle brush trees because everyone needs a jar of bottle brush trees. Okay, so <laughs> I'm using my lid that I actually had used for Thanksgiving to prop up my pumpkin. I'm actually going to put it on top of my bottle brush trees. Okay, there we go. Still, remember I've got this to tie it all together. Mm -hmm. um, oh my gosh, you know I love the gnomes, right? I'm going to put a gnome there. He's in gray and cream. I'm going to put my candle there. Should we put a picture of our daughter? Of course. We're not complete without it. Christmas? We could do that. Or, mm -hmm. well, you could do all kinds of things. Hey, where where did this come from? Let's take a look at that. Okay, where am I doing that? Yeah. You know where that's from? Where did from? that come from? <laughs> that came from the white, or the winter wonderland um, Christmas event. That's right. Kimberbell Christmas event. And it's perfect to go right Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I prop that up. And then, oh, let's see. Oh, here's another little stocking that came from the Winter Wonderland event. So I could place that on there. Mm -hmm. There we Love go. It. And I could have a whole new look. I could keep adding to this. I could put up this canister because that works. Anyway, and before you know it, we have a winter like theme. I love it. Or it's a great. Christmas yep. or white winter theme. Okay, now, but let's use the red and white, you got shall it. we? Yep, I got I'm, five of them done. Okay, so this is what we're going to do in our house. We're going to take this one off. Okay. I might put this back in January because I think I'm thinking snowmen. Okay, right. yep. so I can use this in January, but right now I'm, I'm all about the red and white. And actually, I'm going to save you a little bit, Ryan. What? Because I already made one. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Uh, you know, I didn't oh, know how, how fast you would be. Okay, so I I'm could pretty keep good. this here, but look, you know I love our little bench buddies. So this yep. is the December bench buddy. Again, a perfect little size to put on this tiered tray. That is really nice. Right? <laughs> so I'm going to place that there. And how about a gnome? Because you know me. Wait a minute, what month are we in now? <laughs> or is this January? This is Christmas. Oh, we're Christmas. Okay. Christmas, red and white. Yep. Look, joy to the world. Joy to the world, okay. okay. Got it, okay. There we go. And I think I'll do snuggle season with a little cup. Mm -hmm. And maybe another little tree. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe something like that. Are we like allowed that? to use the cups on the display for anything? <laughs> for this? They are for display For display only. only. You cannot drink out it's of that. a few ways to get into trouble. Yeah. <laughs> just to mess with the And display. then I want to take, like, our little stockings and probably stuff them. Yeah. Maybe even hang them from here. Where did these come from? These are from the Noelle's Quilted Stockings. Mm, these are them. the smallest size. Here, let's take a closer look over here. Okay. Noelle's Quilted Stockings, those are really cute. Okay, and because I'm all about the gnomes, I've got, oh, I'm going to add that. I don't know. I'm trying to do this backwards, so, you know, we'll see how it goes. Okay, 
There we've got some peppermints. Am I allowed to put anything on this? <laughs> uh, yes, you can. No longer? Did I just get fired? No, 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 you're doing good. You're That's doing great. Good. You're doing okay, pretty great. Good. Okay, so like anyway, we need a, you can a see nail. where we're we going with this. Stuff. But you know what? It's going to keep this all looking so cute with everything mm -hmm. else we have. Yep. It's the wall balls, right? Red and white. So let's take a look at those. Okay. So I'm going to wrap them around. I might even drop some in the cup and okay. maybe have them hang down here. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> I think it looks great. Good answer. Okay. I think you did it perfect. Yeah. There we go. How's that? I don't know. Um, oh, let's put the little trees. I've, I've got my little the, trees uh, here. The bottle, bottle cap trees. Bottle brush trees. Bottle brush trees. <laughs> Maybe even take a few out and put them out there. Okay. Anyway, you get the idea, right? So easy. I'm making hay on this garland. <laughs> Keep going because we need it for our Christmas tree and it's our honestly, mantle. It's kind of addictive. It is, you right? You know, yeah, a little bit. I mean, I would be, I don't know about doing it while you're watching football because I wouldn't <laughs> be watching any part of the game. But it is kind of fun to do it. It is fun. It's like the whole new take on string and popcorn. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I can see doing it as now, a family. Now you won't have ants. Yeah. And all that stuff. Okay. Ants. <laughs> oh, because the ants come from the popcorn. Popcorn. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I'm loving, I'm loving these. I think this is going to be so cute. I think I will take a few little nails or something. Yeah. That's what we need to or do. little tacks and hang them that. from there. Oh my gosh. That would be so cute. Okay. So... She puts this right on our kitchen idea. counter on the cor over on the side mm -hmm. so that we walk past it all the time, yeah. all day long. And I feel so accomplished. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that perfect little it's touch of little decor. It's just that little touch, right? But it's the red and white balls that bring it all together. Yeah. Now, what's fun about this color set is that, guess what? I can use this for 4th of July decorating. Mm -hmm. yep. I can also keep it for Valentine's Day yep. decorating. Um, maybe someone's birthday is coming uh -huh. up. I'm going to use the red and white. Ooh, actually birthday. I'm thinking yeah. the Sugar Plum Jubilee. That's what I want to do Yeah. for birthdays. Anyway, so lots of possibilities. And, and these um, cream and gray ones would just kind of give it a little bit of a whole different look, right? Well, yeah. It's that a little bit more subtle, subtle, softer. muted. Yeah. Yeah. So like we did with the Christmas... The creams and grays that you see here, mm -hmm. I would coordinate the, um, there we go. I would coordinate the balls with that. Yeah. There we go. That'd, that'd be good combo. And then come January, I can take all of this off, maybe keep the tree on, right? But now take the cream and gray balls back and add snowmen all over. Yeah. It's just the theme that ties it all together. Yeah. And now you learned how to do it on a stream. And it really was it was it was easier than I thought and it was it was actually kind of fun. Yeah. And if you get the right kind of twine, it looks perfect. And... <laughs> yeah, this is the red and white striped twine from Kimberbell. Oh. There, well, there you, you go. go. Well go figure. It right? all ties together. It all comes together. <clears throat> anyway, so there you go, my friends. What do you think? Are you are you loving the wool felt balls and how to string a, a proper garland? It's mm -hmm. going to be a lot of fun. So Well, and really, once you have, like, once you start to make those, you can incorporate them in all kinds of other projects as well. Oh, my goodness. Well, back here, as you see, this right. is our new felted friends, and we used our gingerbread felt mm -hmm. to actually uh, do that. So you have a string of the felt friends. It looks like little gingerbread, mm -hmm. um, which is really cute. This would be really sweet for winter or Christmas or a baby's room mm -hmm. and, and whatever. Um, all you kinds could, I of guess you could like uh, glue these onto things. Yeah, absolutely. Or you could just put them in a bowl or oh, something. Oh, you could I put mean, them in a bowl. Oh, okay. Really great. So that, that makes me think. I'm going to take these trees out. Oops. Okay. See? And now let's just dump the balls in. And look how cute that is. Oh my goodness, uh, there's a few more. You only got three done. Oh. I think I got like eight. <laughs> so many more. So many more. Okay, I'm going to dump all okay. these in. Makes because me nervous to get these all mixed not? up. not? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, they won't. Okay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So, so many possibilities. So cute, right? Yeah, I love it. Okay.
Okay, so That's so fun. when we get back home, we got to put this all back together for Thanksgiving. Mm. You oh, think yeah. you can do it? Uh, it'll take my weekend, but I think I can get it done. <laughs> right. And then we'll, we'll change it out for Christmas. Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay, awesome. I love it. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining us today for a crazy Tuesday tips. Yeah. We hope that you were inspired to try something new. Remember, you can find these wool felt balls from Kimberbell at your favorite quilt shop. They've got the twine. They've got the balls. They've got the felt friends. They've got, oh my goodness, the uh, stockings, Noelle's quilted stockings. There's so many fun things. So much fun at stuff. At your favorite quilt shop. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us. Thank Sarah. you.